uh, innovations coming to cardiovascular care and specifically transformation of care delivery. I think the areas where there's the most excitement is in digital health, artificial intelligence and machine learning, and probably precision health or precision medicine. Now, those are those cross over with each other, but when I talk about those, I'm really talking about things like mobile health, wearable uh, uh, sensors, uh, and then using new data sources, which may include genomics, but also other data sources, perhaps like social network data, uh, to have a better sense of predicting risk, and then combine those digital health tools with the analytics to have more precise uh, care for patients, to keep patients uh, healthier, a focus on health rather than disease, and a focus on care outside the hospital. Now, all of that's a little bit general. But what I think is we're just at the beginning of the digital health transformation. Now, healthcare has started off in kind of a tough way because the first digital healthcare transformation has been the electronic health record, which by many clinicians and others has been a frustrating experience and has not been adopted as quickly as, say, a new medical device might be for a procedure. Well, because they weren't really designed to be good in terms of digital transformation. They don't make things easier or more efficient, except for from a billing code uh, standpoint, for the most part. They will evolve, but what we really hope will evolve is how we're gonna integrate new digital health tools, wearable sensors, and so forth uh, into our care. It's still unclear how that's gonna happen because right now, there's a lot of consumer products, and there are some products being sold at the sort of health system level. But what hasn't happened enough yet is the design and development of digital health tools specifically to help the interface between patients and their families and clinicians.